Let's see. Let me get it from this side here. There you go, sir. So you're nice and loose. Okay. There you go. No trouble. Well, that was reflexes, yeah. huh? Then I'm going to do your ankle reflexes. Mm -hmm. Good and healthy. Good. Okay. And I want to check your feeling down there too while we've got you on the table. Okay. So let me get you to close your eyes. Okay. How does that feel? Can you feel that? Yes, I can. Which leg am I touching? Uh, my left leg. My right leg. You're right. Does that feel the same? Yes. Any difference from one side to the other? No, it feels about the same. How about here and here? About the same. Mm -hmm. How about there? I can feel it on the right leg. On the right leg. There? Yes, on the left leg. How about on the top of the foot? I feel it on the left foot. Uh-huh. And the right foot. Do they feel about the same? Actually, the right foot on the top didn't feel was didn't feel as sensitive as the left the foot. Okay, well, let's do that again. That and that. I or feel it more foot. on my left foot. So the right side has a little bit more perception. Huh? Mm -hmm. I'm going to borrow your foot here now, and I'll do it this way so a little bit easier. Do you feel that? Very lightly. Very lightly. Let me just compare that to this side here. I feel it more on the left side. So the top it's more sensitive on the top and on, on the right side. On the left, the bottom is more sensitive. No, actually, I feel it less on the top and the bottom than I do on the left foot. Hmm. Okay, let's my, do that one more time. My verbiage was... So that, how does that feel compared to that? Lighter. So this is lighter on the right side. Yes. How about the bottom of the foot? Again, lighter. So lighter on that right yes. side. Okay. All right, sir. One more thing on the neurological exam I want to check. So if you just sit there and be kind of relaxed, there's a few more things I want you to do. First of all, bite down and hold your teeth real tight. There you go. And open your mouth wide and do that. And stick your tongue out. Can you put your tongue to the right, to the left, up, down? Okay, good. All righty. Um, now I need you to shrug your shoulders. In fact, hold them up for me. There you go. Okay, good. All right, sorry, one more thing. First, I want you to make your brow wiggle. There you go. Now, can you smile? There you go. No trouble like that. All right. Now, keep your lips pursed and blow real hard for me. That's what I want to see. Good. All right, sir. Okay. And then now I want to examine your function, your strength. I'm going to need you to stand up. Okay. Can we put that gown aside? Yeah. You comfortable with that? Problem. All right, sir. There you go. Now, the first thing I'd like to do is just pant to mind. Do what I do. Okay. Pick up that, that leg like that. Can you pull it up real high? Any problem with that? No. Kick it out? A little tight kicking it out. A little bit tight, huh? Yeah. That's pretty good for having that knee fixed. Uh -huh. How about that right side, sir? Same thing? No trouble doing that? No. Gotcha. And how much can you safely squat? Uh, and then come back up? Any trouble with that? No. No. Okay, and then I'm going to get you to lie down again, if you don't mind. Okay. Up here? Yes, sir. Okay. Let me just finish up this, this part of the exam here. So, now let me do it this time. Okay. I want to just see how much, and if I hurt you, let me know. Okay. Does that hurt your knee? No. Your hips at all? Mm -hmm. How about to do that? I'm going to do the same thing here. Any discomfort when I flex that hip or this knee? And no trouble going that far out, huh? Okay, good. Good. All right, sir. Now I want to just check your pulses, too. Let me borrow that. There we go. And then put your arms about like that. This is called your carotid. Feels healthy. Good. Now I'm going to get you to take a real deep breath and hold it. Good. Good. All right, sir. So I want to just recheck these pulses and then your leg pulses. Mm -hmm. We're almost finished. Okay. Excellent pulses. Great. Yep. Okay. 
All of your pulses are excellent. Good. 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 And then a few more things here, and then we're almost finished. I'm going to make this vibrating test again. Okay. And what I want you to tell me is um, if you feel the vibration. Okay. And then I also would like to know when the vibration goes away. Okay. All right? Can you feel, feel that? It. On. Feel it. On. Okay. Feel it. Gone. Feel it. Gone. Okay. And then finally, now I'm going to move your fingers, and I want you to tell me whether I pick your finger up or down. Okay. All right? Up. Down. Down, up. Mm -hmm. Same thing with your with your toes. Up, down, down, up. From there. Okay. Good. Well, let me see if I got everything that I need. Yeah, just a couple more things. You didn't realize I was going to make you work this much, <laughs> did you? All right, sir. I'm going to get you to sit up. And then I'm going to get you to stand up. Okay. And if you don't mind, what I'd like you to do is just walk over to that lamp post and come back. Mm-hmm. Good. All right, sir. And if you do that one more time for me, except this time, I'd like you to do it one foot in front of the other like that. Okay. All right? Okay. Across and back. All right, sir. Excellent. Now, if you just face me, and the final thing is I want you to know it's put your arms in front of you and hold your arms right there and close your eyes. Keep your eyes closed. I'm going to touch your chest, but keep your eyes closed. There we go. Okay. It's called a Romberg test. Good. All right, sir, you can sit down, and I think we're all set. Hello, I'm Dr. Eugene Corbett from the Department of Internal Medicine here at the University of Virginia. Uh, I'm here today to uh, participate in a history and physical examination with a standardized patient. Uh, we haven't met before, but the purpose of this is to provide an opportunity for, to you, for you to observe how a physician might perform a complete history and physical examination on a patient who's new to them. Mr. Murray, I'm Dr. Corbett. Nice, nice to meet you. Yes, sir. Corbett. Nice to meet you. Yeah. First time we've met. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So I understand you made an, ex uh, an appointment for an examination. Yes, correct. Uh, and we're going to a complete physical examination. I understand. Yes. And I'm going to ask you about why you came into that. But we mind if I take a few notes just in case. No, that would be fine. In case you got lots to tell me, I yeah. don't want to yeah. miss too much. That would be okay? fine. Good. Good. So you made an appointment for an exam. Uh, when's the last time you had a physical examination? Uh, probably two years ago. Two years ago. Yeah. Well, let me tell me why you made this one. Well, I had these uh, chronic headaches going on mm. that I've had for about three months now, and they're just not getting any better. And I want to mm. see if there's something we can do about it. Mm. So, when you say chronic, you're referring to the fact that they've just been steady for three months, or they've been longer than that? Well, it started three months ago, mm. um, and they're like every other day or so, and mm. now I'm having them every day. And so you have no days when you don't have a headache? I have a headache every day. Mm -hmm. But at the beginning, it didn't seem to be quite as noticeable no. then for you. Huh? No. Des describe the headaches. Where are they and what do they, what do they feel like? Um, they start at the back of my head here, mm -hmm. and they kind of come up around my temples, I guess you call mm -hmm. it, and mm -hmm. into the front of my head. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Sometimes they're throbbing. Mm -hmm. and, you mm -hmm. know, other times they're not quite as bad. Yeah. Um, hmm. So it's both sides of your, yes. and it starts in the back and comes up the front. Correct. Do you have a headache all the time, or does it just come in episodes? Um, well, I have a headache all the time until I take something. Mm -hmm. I, I take Advil and Tylenol mm -hmm. that seem to help it, and that eases it up. Is it ever gone? Um, 
There's that always something there. There's always something there. I always yeah. know it's there. It's mm -hmm. just the intensity of it. I see. Can you tell me a little bit more about what you notice, for example?